Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a large language model as an API on Azure ML. So first of all, you've got to create a workspace like I've done here. And then you can go into the model catalog. And basically, you see a bunch of models here. Now for this case, I am going to choose the Roberta Squad model. But in principle, you could choose any model. You just need to ask for uh, permissions on Azure ML for the larger endpoints. Um, so this model is basically a BERT-based model, which has been uh, trained for uh, extractive question answering. Right? And the inputs uh, have to be like this, where basically you have a question and you have the context from which you want to extract the answer. So let's go ahead and deploy this. Um, and as you can see, there are various aspects of this template. This is the, um, the size of the instance, uh, the number of instance counts, uh, the endpoint name, etc. And then you can just uh, click here on deploy. And this is going to take uh, a couple of minutes, so we can come back to it. OK, now that the endpoint is created, you can just click on it right here. And you'll see various attributes, like the REST endpoint. And then you can see that it has some authentication associated with it. Um, and then what you can do is uh, you can test it. So the way you test it is basically, you know, you can go back to Roberta Base Squad 2 on Hugging Face. Um, and then you can see some sample code. And you basically take this. Um, let's see. So basically, uh, remember, this is an extractive question answering model. So you have your question. What's your name? What's my name here? And then you have the context. My name is Clara, and I live in Berkeley. Um, and you can see that it's extracted Clara as the answer. Um, and then it gives a score, which is basically a confidence score between 0 and 1. You have a start, which is the character at which uh, the answer starts. So it star so C starts at the 11th character, and then it ends at the 16th character. All right. So now, how do you deploy this? Um, you know, you have this API, but how do you use this API in a public-facing Python script, right? Um, the way you do that is by first accessing this authentication key. Um, and it, the first step to that is logging in the um, Azure command line interface. So first you need to install the Azure uh, CLI. And then once that's installed, you can go to uh, command prompt or the terminal and click on AZ login. Uh, and as you can see, we're successful in logging in. Okay. Next, what you need to do is to basically um, get the uh, authentications. Um, and you can use this uh, script that, that uh, Azure has provided. So you basically need to run this. Um, you need to give your online endpoint name right here as the argument. You need to give the resource group. Um, you need to give the workspace name. And you can get the primary key. So now I have already done that before. I'm just going to run that uh, command again with various um, values listed. And so here is our primary key. Next, uh, you need to go to this other site here where Azure has provided um, a sample script. And I'll be putting all of these in the um, details of the video. Right? So you paste that here. Now, the only things you need to do is to replace the input data, the URL, and the API key. So the URL is basically the REST endpoint here. Um, and then you can replace it here. And then, of course, the um, API key is what you got from this uh, command right here. So I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to remove this uh, assertion. And um, for the data, I am just going to put um, this stuff that's right here. Um, without the 
extra things. And run it. And you can see it does well, it gets the right answer. Let's try asking it another question. Where do I live? And as you can see, it gives the answer of Berkeley, which is right. Um, the start token is at you know, the 31st character, and it ends at the 39th character right here. Um, you can ask it some other question. Um, this is actually interesting. You can ask it, what do I like? And the answer is not really obvious, but um, OK. As you can see, it says uh, Berkeley, right? So <laughs> it might have inferred that I'm living in Berkeley, so I must like Berkeley, right? Um, because if I didn't, I wouldn't really live there. Um, OK, but now let's try asking it a question that's like really not there in the context. So what do I not like? And here, the answer is not great, right? It gives you the whole text. My name is Clara, and I live in Berkeley. But the other important information is the score right here. So if you're using this in production, you might put a certain threshold, right? You might say scores below a certain value um, means that the answer is most probably unreliable, right? Uh, the other cool thing that you can do is uh, you can append things like, you know, not found or answer not found. Uh, and then you can fine tune this model to extract those when it's not sure, right? Um, I have another video on fine tuning these um, Roberta based models for question answering. Um, and you can watch that if you're interested in that. But OK, um, to summarize what we have done is uh, we've deployed a language model, or in principle, a large language model, as a public facing API using Azure ML. Now, if you found this video useful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you very soon on data science in everyday life. Bye.